Hello, folks, and welcome to your outlet for everything outdoors and Western lifestyle. This is The Bend Show, and I am your host, Rebecca Warner, a.k.a. Back. As always, we love hearing from all of you. Comment, stories, ideas. Get a hold of us anytime. Call or text 305-900-BEND. That is 305-900-2363. Or you can always drop an email to bendradioshow at gmail.com. Joining alongside Shotgun, as always, is my co-host, Jeff Tigger Earhart. And we have some news to share. We were again unsuccessfully drawn in the lottery for... Everything. <laughs> Ah, except we got rifle tags we, for We deer. did. We got our deer tags, but everything else. Wah, wah, wah. I know, I know. Tigger has been hoping desperately, just praying that he'd get an antelope tag this year because we already had some preference points built up and he yep. was hoping this was going to be the nope. year. The Disappointment year. as always. <laughs> no, it did not turn out. And it was way different than when you and I were kids. And we were antelope hunting. The whole state was opened up, and I could just go in our backyard and on our land and hunt, and that has totally changed. It's a really small little area in our state to get an an, uh, antelope tag filled, and, well, we're not going to do it again. Well, you know, we'll be scouting and hunting with the camera. How's that sound? And then to make matters worse, we saw friends of ours that, because bow season just opened up, did you see John Armand's? <laughs> I know. With I uh, know. Ultimate Outdoor Adventure. They're one of our sponsors here. And uh, we we're, we're going to have him on the show. And he had some amazing pictures. And then he texted me and was rubbing it in. <laughs> John, I'm not happy with you at this point. So with that, yes, big game hunting is about to get underway. And it already has in some areas, depending what state you are in. But, uh, for example... A lot of people sometimes get a little confused about when us here in the further western states talk about having to use lotteries and such. An example would be the eastern part of the country where you say you have a lot of whitetail. They may be more plentiful, such as Missouri. You know, units, tags, there may be no reason to ever apply ahead of time. You just, uh, when you get the inkling to go hunting in the fall, you just go into your local sporting goods shop and buy one over the counter. And you can get one, yeah. But that's why we always talk about planning, because that's not the case. However, the further west you go, big game, the further west you go often is more tricky. Uh, Every state, regardless of its big game population, they vary. And the regulations, as Tigger said, they change from year to year. We found that in our neighboring states because we were trying to, was it last year or the year before? I can't remember. We're on episode 146, so it rolls (laughs) together. Three years later. (laughs) We were trying, was it Wyoming changed last minute just Mm -hmm. like that? Uh, You had stories, actually. I remember this now, that you had stories where just like that, right before hunting season, it changed and all be gall dang if somebody that was, and I think it was, was it Wyoming? Well, Wyoming, they had to change change. their uh, regulations a couple of times this spring.